Just finished my 100 runs on Scarlet Monastery of Old, specifically Armory, and in this video I'll be showing you my loot that I received within those 100 runs and how fast I can get it done. And typically I clock in about two minutes uh, going through the instance and running back out. And I do use a row because I really like the shadow step. And there's also a chest that you can loot from there that has a, uh, a low drop chance of getting some really rare world items to drop. Uh, so yeah, we'll take a look at those two locations of this one chest that you can loot from. And for the most part, this chest is locked and that's why I use a rogue to pick lock it and loot from there. And yeah, Scarlet Monastery has been a lot of fun and this was the first time I ever farmed this uh, instance and I was able to get the tabard of the Scarlet Crusade on my first run and I think that is a hundred percent drop rate. After I looted this tabard, I have not seen it since. So hundred runs, one out of uh, 99, one out of a hundred <laughs> is what we're looking at for the tabard. But I think once you loot it, you don't ever see it again. Now Scarlet Monastery is located in Trisful Glades up here, northeast side. And you will have to purchase this key, the Scarlet key, to unlock the four different old vanilla instances. And once you do purchase that key, you can uh, get it to activate here through the old key ring. And if you do have the ring in your bags, you will activate the quest and you basically complete it. And you click on this little uh, key ring and you have the buff, the Scarlet key. And you can open these two these two doors here and you can also run these two other dungeons that were redesigned back in uh, Mist of Pandaria and you can um, yeah you can run the classic vanilla and I absolutely love classic vanilla uh, transmog runs and just having a lot of fun uh, so here's my instance gold tracker here's a total of a hundred runs and it took me about is that three hours and 45 minutes? That doesn't make any sense. I think that's right. Yeah, old men I have like 11 hours. So yeah, that's right. So three hours and 45 minutes. I can get a run done within two minutes. Uh, the item value that I had was, let's see, a little over 470,000 gold. And the gold that I looted, raw gold, was 4,400. And I killed 8,700 mobs and killing 38 per minute. Uh, so here is the the run here. So I'll, I'll go through the run real quick with the rogue. And I like to use uh, the rogue because of a uh, shadow step and the stealth. But yeah, I use bear tartare as far as consumable goes. And the charged vial of alacriti. Increases your speed by 743. So my base speed is at 162. And then with Bear Tartare, I get uh, I get a little bit. Nothing too crazy there. So 161, then I go up to 162. With this, I'll be at 164. Stealth, I'm at 200. And with Sprint, I think I'm passing over uh, 300. So yeah, here is the first room, and this is a very small instance, and not a whole mob, not a whole lot of mobs in this uh, in this dungeon. But yeah, in the first room, you'll find the chest here, and you can see that it's locked. The large iron-bound chest. You open that up, and we got some plants, some heavy leather, and a lot of materials will drop from this chest, and I typically kill these guys over here and if you don't see the chest in this room it will be located in the next room downstairs and going to your right all the way down the chest will spawn here and that chest will spawn every single time so there wasn't a single run that I didn't see this chest. And I like to open the chest because you have a 
a chance at getting like a star belt pattern or the purple silk shirt patterns and a lot of rare schematics as well so I advise uh, people to to always uh, try to pick lock that with with the rogue and, and get that done there's also these uh, these crates these armor crates uh, there's nothing really too significant it just drops like gray items that can be transmogable but I think for the most part I collected all of them so yeah there's these mobs over here and uh, obviously it's gonna take me a little bit longer because of me explaining it but I'll show you towards the end of this video how fast I can get this done with the rogue I think my best time was like 151 but yeah, you're going in a zigzag here all the way till the end and I do have these uh, add-ons called mob info and mob kill count that keeps track of all the items that drop from each uh, mob you can see on my tooltip there uh, the percentage and, and what they were able to drop so it's pretty cool uh, so let's open up this door and I kill this guy here and I don't worry about looting him but you want to kill that last boss so you can spawn all these uh, trainees and you want to kill them off there and these guys have a chance at dropping the crop tabard of the Scarlet Crusade the ensemble chain of the Scarlet Crusade uh, which is a scarlet belt, scarlet gauntlets, and scarlet leggings. So with Retail WoW on WoWhead, there's not a whole lot of information on these mobs, unfortunately. That's cool. But yeah, you want to kill all these dudes off. And that's basically it. And you can just run back out, rinse and repeat. And you can get this done fairly quickly. And now I'll be showing you the loot that I received uh, after 100 runs. Now, what's interesting about this, this whole... Here's another crate here. Long-barreled musket. What's interesting about this instance, and I think maybe the loot tables are broken. I don't know. There might be some kind of weird bug because I kept getting the same item to drop. It was so crazy. So here's what I received. Uh, let's take a look at the new items. I don't think there's nothing significant here. Oh, we did receive the strong anti-venom. And some other trashy items. But yeah, as far as like the Scarlet set goes, I was able to get a bunch of belts. I just kept getting them all the time. I have a total of 23 of these. Going for a little over 400 gold. Uh some green items going for like 3k no, no big deal i don't think there was a a huge item that dropped for me oh i, I guess the glyph leggings this one's going for like 15k uh har harbinger boots uh i believe there was one plan that was going for a lot i think it was a blue plan here we go it was the golden scale shoulders for 50k gold uh, let's see. Oh, and we got the bright eye goggles at 40k gold. Uh, a couple of the strong anti venom manuals. And let's see what else here. Oh, yeah, I was able to get three of the head splitters. No big deal. Uh, the black knight, the Ziegler, the Chesterfall musket. I was just getting this on my last 10 runs here I was like getting a little nervous uh, got five of the butchers right there what else did we get some shields nothing too significant here but uh, yeah overall I think it wasn't so great for me I, I wasn't able to get like one really super item and we got 21 of the Scarlet Wrist Guards. So as far as like Scarlet pieces go, I was able to just to get the belt and the uh, Wrist Guards. I think there was one more here. Oh, I got the Scarlet Gauntlets for, but you know, these pieces are going for less than a thousand gold. I don't know what to do with them. 
I think I'll send them over to my hunter to learn. Obviously, because I have a bunch of them. And I don't know if even if it's even worth listing. I mean, this one only has one auction. This one has two auction, and it and it's been like that ever since. So I, I farmed this for about a couple days, a few days. Uh, we got the reticulated bone gauntlets. So yeah, not bad. I mean, I guess it's something, right? Not too terrible. Could be worse. But yeah, I'm not sure if there's something wrong with the loot tables in this instance. Uh, who knows? Or maybe those items are extremely rare, which I'll be showing here in just a second. But yeah, as far as like materials go, uh, got a lot of herbs or uh, a lot of wool cloth. Some heavy leather dropped from the uh, from those chests. And a couple of heavy hides, so that's that's great. And there's nothing in here that you can skin. So, yeah. Now let's take a look at all things real quick and show you the zone drops. The first item we're looking at is the Archon chest piece. And there's not a lot of information on this one. Uh, we got the Begular robes. Four auctions going for 57,000 gold. We got Blood sp Spiller. And this is two auctions, 25k gold. Chesterfall Musket, got one of those. A Cobalt Crusher, 179k, that would be nice. Dream Slayer, a Fight Club. And it looks like it kind of shares the same sort of loot table as far as like the Mist of Pandaria Scarlet Monastery goes. Uh, who knows, right? <laughs> Flint Rock shoulders, Harbinger boots. Like the D shoulders are very rare. There's no, there's not a lot of information on this one. Uh, head splitter got three of those. Uh, the Resplendent Guardian, Ruthless Shiv, another really rare item. Market value looks like a 7.6 million. Uh, Scarlet belt. Now the whole. Look, it appears like the whole you can get the whole set to drop from the mobs. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the zone drop, and then we got the scarlet boots that are going for 450k. That's what I was looking for, you know. I wanted to get the boots or the chest piece, uh, but I ended up getting the other uh, pieces that were not worth that much. Scarlet chest piece is 83k. Market value is over 200k. Pretty cool chest piece. Uh, Scarlet Gauntlets, 500k. And then the wrists, obviously. And then Silver sl Sliver. Sliver Blade. Not a lot of information. 2.1k gold market value. Uh, Steel Claw Reaver. We have Sunblaze Coif. Swamp Chill Fetish. Nine, over 900k. This one's like over 60k. 1.4 million uh 2.1 million well, let's see uh tainted tainted pierce over 500k uh the butcher very common rare item to drop uh war chief kilt 5.3 uh watchman watchman pauldrons 2.8 and the wind reaver staff 2.3 million so yeah 26 rare items and obviously you got the world drops to drop from the uh, chest but yeah that is the potential i will do another 100 runs of this dungeon and see what we can come up with but yeah i wanted to share with you guys my loot my results as far as 100 runs go let me know what you think and and uh, maybe i'm wasting my time who knows <laughs> but i'll continue to run this dungeon to see if i can get at least one of those items to drop that would be nice but yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Please subscribe for more awesome content like this, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.